Hello, welcome to a new video. If this is the first time you're seeing me, hi, I'm Elsa and I'm an illustrator from Portugal. And today I wanted to share with you a little bit of my experience going to the Bologna Children Book Fair last year and maybe share with you some tips if you're thinking of going this year or next or whenever you're watching this video. And if that is something that maybe interests you, please keep on watching. So let's start by defining what the Bologna Children Book Fair actually is. So it obviously happens in Bologna, in Italy. It happens every year around the end of March and beginning of April. And it's basically the biggest um, book fair in the world, uh, aimed specially at the children market. And it's basically for, it's mainly for uh, publishers to go and buy and sell book rights. I think that's how you say it. But it's also a great experience for illustrators. There's a lot of events um, aimed at illustrators. That There's a lot of talks. And you can also get a lot of valuable feedback on your portfolio in various uh, portfolio reviews. And it's also just basically a very inspiring place for uh, an illustrator to be, an illustrator that, that's interested in the children book market. And yeah, I definitely recommend going there at least once. My first tip, if you're thinking of going, is do not be afraid of going alone. And maybe this won't resonate with a lot of people, but it's definitely a, an advice for my past self, because I I wanted to go to the fair ever since... I've heard of it in 2014 and I only got the courage to go there last year in 2018 because I always wanted to go but I was afraid of going alone because I didn't know exactly what to expect and having company is always nice but I always try to uh, invite people to come with and never got anyone to, to go with me. It sounds very sad, but anyway, um, last year I finally got the courage to go alone because it was something that I really wanted to do. And I'm very happy that I took that decision and I'm going there again this year. I don't know if I told you that already. Uh, and basically, uh, the reason why it's okay to go alone is because... Even though I was I, I went there alone, I met a lot of people there, a lot of other illustrators there, and maybe if I had company, I would I wouldn't be so open to meet new people. And I made a few friends when I was there, and I'm actually this year I'm gonna share uh, an Airbnb with one of the people that I met last year, so it it ended up being. Uh, a great experience to only share with myself so if you're thinking of going but you're also afraid of going alone and not having anyone to go with you and being alone there can be quite scary maybe you can try and reach out to people online other people that might go as well even if you're if you're not coming from the from the same place or the same country another tip i have is try and book your flight and accommodation as soon as possible Personally, I booked mine in November, around November, and uh, there's a lot of people attending the fairs, so obviously the prices around that time for flights and for accommodation tend to rise to be higher than usually in Bologna, so it's always a good idea to try and book your flight and 
um, accommodation as soon as you can. Another tip related to that one is maybe try and book a place uh, around the center of Bologna, because the the fair itself happens um, a little bit further away from the center. I think maybe 20 minutes by bus, but uh, there's also there's always buses going from the center of Bologna to the fair and back. And if you stay near the center, you can also enjoy the city a lot more. Another important tip before going is get your portfolio ready. And this can be a digital portfolio in an iPad maybe, or a physical one. I have the one I took last year right there. Maybe I can, I'll go grab it and show you. So here is the portfolio I took with me last year. It's obviously printed. I used an online printer for this. I can't really remember which one, but I'm sure you can find a lot of them if you Google it. Uh, and maybe you can even find some in your local area. And this one cost me a little bit over 30 euros, which is a lot more expensive, obviously, than having it uh, digital. But I personally think it's best because you're trying to get work in a publishing area, so people will probably like to look at your work in a physical way. Uh, but I think it's obviously okay if you're if you want to have it in your iPad. Uh, and I saw a lot of people do that last year. Uh, but things that are important to have in your portfolio are uh, things that show that you're good at character design and that you can tell stories. So a lot of narrative pieces. And that's something that I was missing in my portfolio last week, last year. And that's a critique I got a few times uh, when I showed my portfolio to publishers. So that's a good thing to have in mind. And that's something that I'm working on this year. Another thing that you will want to take with you are promotional materials. And this can be things like your business cards, very important to take business cards with you, or postcards, booklets with your work, and things that you can leave with people you have meetings with so that they'll remember you later. Um, last year I took the notebooks that I made uh, last year, uh, I took them with me and left them with the people that I had meetings with, um, because everybody likes notebooks, right? Uh, so I took that. You will also want to use your promotional materials to pin on the illustrator's wall, which are these gigantic walls that are the first thing that you see whenever you enter the fair, and illustrators use them to pin samples of their work, and everyone from illustrators to publishers to editors and art directors, everyone has to walk through those halls and they get to see your work. And I even got a contact from a publisher last year that saw my work on the wall and wanted to work with me. So it's definitely a good idea to pin your samples there. And you can pin uh, postcards, business cards, even posters. Just maybe be careful with the size that you choose because uh, those walls tend to fill up fast and if you take something very big it will probably be harder for you to pin it there. And related to that, don't forget to bring sticky tape with you. Very important. Other things that are a good idea to bring with you are comfortable shoes, because you'll be walking a lot around the fair. And maybe bring uh, water and food also, because those tend to be quite expensive at the fair and not the greatest quality. And also you'll probably lose a little bit of time queuing for food if you don't take it with you, so maybe do take with take it with you. Uh, also bring a small notebook with you so that you can take notes after each meeting and also take notes at um, where are your favorite publishers and the times of the uh, portfolio reviews that you'd like to attend. That's a good thing to also bring with you so that you don't, don't forget anything. And Another thing that I also took was a tote bag. So I had my backpack and a tote bag with me, with my portfolio in it, so that whenever I had a chance to 
talk to a, a to an editor or an art director, I could just very quickly take my portfolio out of my tote bag and hand it to them so that they wouldn't lose a lot of time. So maybe that's a good thing to think about. I don't know. Another good thing to do at the fair is attending portfolio reviews. A lot of publishers have a de designated times for you to show them their portfolio. And those are very interesting and very rich experiences. I think I got to show my portfolio to maybe 10 different publishers last year. Uh, and at the, the second publisher that I talked to, they told me they may, may have a, a book project for me. So that was a huge confidence boost because it's very hard to walk up to people and just show them your work. Uh, but keep in mind that uh, that's something that they also want you to do. And everyone at the fair is extremely nice. And even if they don't think your portfolio is fit for their publisher, they will give you um, a very valuable feedback. And my last advice for this video is just to have fun and talk to people and try and make friends and just get inspired because it's a very, very inspiring place to be. And also, if you get to stay till the last day, some publishers will be selling their books. And that's a very good excuse to buy more books that you wouldn't have access to any other way. I bought three books last year. And yeah, those are my top tips from one beginner to another. I hope you found this useful. And I'll leave some articles that I've read before going to the fair and that were very useful to me. I'll leave those in the description box, so maybe check those out. And if you're going to the fair this year, please tell me and maybe we'll get to hang out there. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and maybe subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.